Hermit Ducks, welcome back to the Hermit's KU. Hope everybody's having a lovely weekend so far. Um, I've just popped on this morning because I've done a trade and I'm absolutely thrilled uh, with the trade. Um, and I've also got this bag of goodies um, to show you. So how did this come about? So um, a guy called Rob, who is a subscriber to the channel, has watched quite a few walkthroughs, is a tarot collector, contacted me a few weeks ago now to say, um, I've just discovered that you live in Nottingham. Um, I live and work in Nottingham. And if you're passing, then uh, pop in. Um, great to chat about tarot, that sort of thing. And then we've been talking about decks and things over the last few weeks. And he knew that I was looking for Terra Volatile. Um, and he had bought this deck, um, but I think was a little bit disappointed that the expansion pack um, wasn't available. And I, I share that disappointment because I was going to get this as a Christmas present to myself back in December. And if I was going to pay for the shipping, for international shipping, um, I wanted the book, the deck and the expansion pack, which wasn't available then. And from what I understand, you know, hasn't been available since. Now I just need to decide that if it does become available, do I... Um, pay out for shipping from overseas for an expansion pack but this is a great way to find out whether this deck is enough just as it is and I'm sure it would be um, and whether I actually need the expansion pack but um, I just want to give a shout out to as well to Bird and Blend which uh, is a is a tea um, shop well, it's so much more than a tea shop, actually, but they, they blend loads of beautiful teas. Um, they've got, you know, all the tea paraphernalia, uh, uh, books, encyclopedias on teas. They've got different uh, uh, diffusers and, um, you know, mugs, that sort of thing. Um, and it's, it's a business that started in Nottingham, Rob was telling me and has expanded across the UK and now they've got 17 stores. Um, and when I went in, let me show you uh, these, these teas. Um, he gave me this as a gift and just said, look, I know you like your Earl Grey. So this is um, a gift, which was really kind. And it's Earl Grey, Earl Grey Creme or cream, I've heard it pronounced lots of different ways when it's uh, written like that. Um, and he let me he let me have a smell of it and it was gorgeous. So, um, and this is a fresh and fragrant Earl Grey with a hint of vanilla. Uh, and it includes uh, Sri Lankan black tea, corn flowers, vanilla pieces, natural flavorings, and the, uh, medium caffeine. Um, so that's quite good that it gives you the info as well. Um, but do check out Bird and Blend. They even have subscription boxes, I've since learned. And I'll certainly be going back to get some teas. So while I was there, of course, I bought a couple of others. Now, do you remember the buttermint craze? <laughs> we covered this on this channel back in, I want to say 2017, 2018, um, when Twinings brought out a buttermint and... I was sending it left, right and centre to the States to subscribers. It was like, I can't get it here. Well, they do a blended tea, um, which is buttermint. And I smelt it and it was, I had to get some. And it says sip, sip, moray. And that's the play on the words of Murray, uh, Murray mints, which were buttermint, a brand of buttermints over here in the UK. Um, and this one is caffeine free, but really, really nice. Um, and then the other one was bonfire toffee because I mean who doesn't love a bit of bonfire toffee so this is smoky black tea with caramel and apple Sri Lankan black tea Lapsang Shushan black tea cinnamon air dried apple um, safflower I'm not heard of safflower um, and natural flavourings, and this is a medium caffeine as well. So I'm really looking forward to sampling these. 
The other thing was he was looking to trade um, because he'd got, I'm just trying to turn around quickly and see if I've got my original one here to, to show you. Ah, here it is. Um, I've got the Somnia Tarot, um, which just comes with this little, little white book. Uh, love this deck. Um, it's so moody and atmospheric. Um, and I'd wanted to get the uh, illustrated version because it comes with the book. And he had it and wanted to trade, but I didn't really have anything that um, that he wanted to trade for. So I bought this from him um, and it was a, a reasonable price that he was selling it for. Um, and then, yeah, this one has this beauty, I mean, look how gorgeous this is on the inside, has this beautiful uh, little book and you don't get anything from what I understand extra in purchasing the big book, which I think was about 25 or 30 pounds. So um, yeah, I'll probably do a side-by-side -side video, video and then you can see the thickness of the book compared to the other deck. Um, but yeah, so that's the Somnia Tarot Illustrator that I got as well. So I traded a deck that had an expansion pack for Terra Volatile with an expansion pack and I purchased this book from him, again, at a reasonable price. Look at this book. This is a, this is, last time I felt a book that was this heavy, it was probably Patrick Valenza's Deviant Moon Companion book. Um, but absolutely uh, beautiful, really beautiful. Um, and my lovely friend Giselle from Mad Witch has this book. And uh, yeah, when I saw it, I thought, yeah, if I get the deck, I'll probably get this book to go with it. Look at this devil card. Um, and in the expansion pack, I thought it had the death card that I really, really liked. I'm just getting to it, this card here, but it is actually in this one. So maybe I don't need the expansion pack. But as you can see, beautiful, beautiful book. Lots of information in here. It's a proper sort of uh, coffee top table type book, which I'll really enjoy reading through. Uh, every time I do that, I blow this candle out because of when I, when I use a book or something and flick through the pages. Um, it blows out my candles. There we go. So yeah, amazing book. What did it say on the side? Terra Volatile by Credo Crea Absurdum. Amazing artist, amazing artist. So let's have a look at the deck. I'm gonna bring the camera down. Okay, so here we have it. So it's this really nice um, clamshell box all things change and we change with them <laughs> we get little choice sometimes um this unique set has a few alternative cards so it allows you to build your own personal deck in addition a new suit is included the vessels yeah and again that was something that intrigued me because i was, I was thinking i'm sure i've got a deck or two within my collection where cups have been changed to vessels. And I'm like, I wonder what, because for me, the tarot is made up of the elements. You know, the major arcana is the spirit, the ether. And then we have our water, you know, our earth, the air and um, fire. Mine went blank then. Um, so what is what would the uh, vessels bring to that? Um, but all I had to do was read on. The transfiguration of the classical element, ether, also called quintesse quintessence. So, mm, yeah, I mean, for me, that's what the major arcana is. It's the spirit suit. It is the ether, but that's fine. You can find the symbology, meanings, and interpretations at terravolatile.com. All right, so 
let's take the cards out. I will need to pause and put them in order before I do a flip through. I just want to talk about the cardstock because the cardstock is lovely. It's that nice um, kind of silky, smooth um, linen. Uh, we're very, very, you'll see the linen finish here, but it's almost, you can al almost feel it. It's probably of the same quality as Pagan Other Worlds, if anybody has that deck. Um, but yeah, beautiful um, in terms of, I like the off-white kind of, uh, it's white on the sides, but because of the borders, it gives that effect here. Anyway. I'm going to put the uh, cards in order and then we'll have a look at the deck. Okay, well that was fun. It was fun putting them in order. I kind of wished I'd kept the camera rolling, but I've spent like half an hour, so you won't want that. <laughs> but it was it was fun to um, see the alternative cards. And because it wasn't in order, it was fun to lay them out and put them uh, in order. Um, and yeah, it's a fantastic deck. What I did want to mention was as well, the cards that are in the expansion packs are uh, referenced in here. So you wouldn't have to, um, like you've got time, which is obviously in the um, soul searching in the expansion pack. So the book does cover um, everything. I really like, there's a quick reference guide as well when you get to the end of the uh, the majors, there's all our um, versions of the two of cups here. Yeah, the major arcana keyword chart, um, and it has the uh, card or the alternative cards, the upright reverse, and then it gives you the element association, the planet and the zodiac. So yeah, really, really good book all right so let's um and it's quite a chunky deck but the quality is exceptional so so we'll start off we do have uh two fools we have an alternative of a fool uh, a male fool or a female fool um both are gorgeous i really like them there's lots of this geometry uh throughout the deck as well um i really don't know because i mean she's more beautiful i think um so i think i would go with this fool then we have the magician look at this our gorgeous high priestess isn't the artwork just divine? It's really classic. We also have for um, card or key three um, for the Empress, we have fertility or the Empress. Now the Empress is often associated with fertility um, and we ho often see a, you know, uh, big bellied, uh, pregnant, um, and it can be a bugbear to some people. Um, so I think I would stick with a more traditional Empress card. Then we have the Emperor. Don't have an alternative for him. It could be in the expansion pack, of course. Uh, the Pope for the High Priest, the Hierophant. Now, interestingly, even though our Two of Cups has three cards, they have alternatives uh, for different couples. Uh, the Lovers doesn't in this uh, deck anyway, without an expansion. Um, but that's fine, because for me, the true Lovers of the Tarot is the Two of Cups. And I love this. I really love this. Now this deck, particularly when you get to the miners, is very RWS, you'll see that. Um, of course, there's an, an additional suit, uh, but this this one in particular is more of a classic. It reminds me of the old Italian classic um, tarot decks. The chariot. Um, I thought there was two chariots. I must have got that mixed up. Beautiful. Look at this artwork. 
Justice is uh, positioned at key eight. <laughs> Never mind. Um, the Hermit, I love this Hermit card. Really love the Hermit card. Here is the Wheel of Fortune. That's just amazing. Probably, and the Wheel of Fortune is a card um, in the tarot that I probably like the least. If someone said to me, you know, rank your the tarot in order. Well, there's a fun thing to do. If your favourites to least favourites. Um, I think the Wheel of Fortune would probably be the, my least favourite card. And I don't know why. Um, just, just as it is. This card is absolutely incredible. I love it. I love everything about it. The characters, him falling to the ground, putting his uh, arms out against the rocks to break his fall, how she's twisted between the spokes of the wheel, this cherubim with a blue face. I just think it is magnificent. So we do have um, strength or fortitude. Um, We've got the lion just resting here. This is very brutal. Um, but I prefer it to be called strength than fortitude. If it was the other way around, if strength was on this card and fortitude on this one, I would go with, with that. So I'm gonna go with traditional strength. I'm such a traditionalist, aren't I? Let's be honest, let's just have a, a, a sup of tea. We have the hangman. And then for, oh yes, yeah, so an alternative to the hangman, we have the hanged man or we have prudence. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna decide. Now, the death card is epic. And as I said before, I really love this image. I'd love this as a poster or an art print on the wall. I, it's everything, love it. But I'm actually gonna keep both in because death and rebirth are two sides of the same coin for me. However, having a deck with death and rebirth in, both as key 13 is absolutely fine because this to me, if I, if I pull this in a reading, to me, this would signify more of an ending and this would signify more of a rebirth situation of something new come in and from that ending, uh, you know, going forward, moving on. Sorry about the sirens. I live in the city, what can I say? But isn't this amazing? And I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to choose between the two cards because I think they're both spectacular. So they're both staying in this deck. We have a gorgeous temperance card here. We do have two devil cards. Um, and I love them both, but I'm gonna go with the more Baphomet style uh, devil. It just seems more, more monstrous. And <laughs> the gimp masks do it for me. <laughs> what have I just said? Note to self, cut that out. That sounds really wrong. Um, they don't do it for me, but there's more of that sort of enslavement, that bondage. We've got chains all around them. And then these, uh, like I say, these kind of gimp masks. Um, they seem more just accepting of their situation. So this one is more, you know, in keeping with the devil card as I see it. We have a tower, beautiful tower. This is intense. And then we have hubris. Um, and I, I guess that's kind of focusing, you know, when you see the tower card, you see the people fall in. And hubris is about um, 
pride and over sort of um not being overly confident but pride cometh before the fall right so um i like it but this tower card is excellent so that's what's staying in for that and you know the beauty is these aren't being chucked in a bin they're being kept separately and over time i might swap them around that's the great thing about having uh, multiple choices beautiful beautiful star card as is the moon the moon is beautiful um there is an alternative moon called the labyrinth and you can see this uh labyrinth effect here illuminated a bit by the moon so it's pointing in a direction to go um, I love the, the two hounds here and we've got, again, people in the foreground. Someone's pointing the way to the path. So for me, it's the moon rather than the labyrinth. And, you know, to have the, um, the three together, star, moon and sun, makes sense. So um, for the luminaries. Uh, beautiful sun card, look at that. And then we have Judgment. Did we have two? No, just one Judgment card. Gorgeous. Now we have the world or we have the universe. Um, and even, you know, I said I was a traditionalist, so RWS traditionalist, I should say, <laughs> if we're talking about the world and universe. Um, I like this image, but I prefer this image. I love this. So I'm keeping the universe. So that's the majors. I'll just pop them there a second. And then we'll take a look at um, the five suits that we've got now. So we have our cups first and we have our ace of cups it's just an art print you know it doesn't say ace or one or anything like that we've got this beautiful ornate cup i love the doves flying above the water coming out like fountains and then we have three options for the two so we have a female and a male we have two females it's the same background as you can see or we have two males. So unless I'm doing readings for somebody in particular, for now, I'll keep with tradition. And we have the three, look at this, how gorgeous. This deck is just something else, isn't it? The four, as you can see, very RWS. Five. Six. Oh, I'm in love. Look at that. And one of the critiques I was going to make really was sometimes the uh, the numbers, the Roman numerals on the cards are really hard to see. Um, however, because because it's quite uh, RWS, I recognise the images anyway and which which card it is. Breaking news. Um, page. I love the courts. They are really well uh, kind of grouped with their coloration. Beautiful, beautiful cream of cups. And then we have, um, did I put that that way? Yeah, let's pop that on top there. The ones. Just stunning, aren't they? These oil paintings, just really classic art. Beautiful. I love the direction from the eyes.
I think I will have to keep an eye out <laughs> for the expansion pack. Look at this. Now we have, I don't know if I've flown through these and forgot to look and see if there was alternatives. I've just kind of like charged on ahead. Yeah, so there is two fives. Um, there is, this one is very much, you know, uh, engaged in battle. Uh, it's very much an action kind of shot. This one, showing more younger people, it's almost like a child's play. I mean, they're not, they're not, there are adults. Well, I think he looks very, but it looks like it's more sort of, you know, hold on a minute, diplomatic, let's talk this through. Um, and I really like this image. Um, I like both, but something about this, it's almost like a storybook picture. So, um, so yeah. And then when it comes to the eight of wands, look at these two. Oh, beautiful. Both are beautiful. But I think this one wins out. Look at the expression, look at her countenance. And then we have the nine and 10. Again, quite traditional. Our, I didn't say on when we were looking at the clubs, but there's no changes to the titles of the courts. It's page knight, queen and king. Look at her. Okay, so our sword suit. I love this kind of these curtains being pulled back. Love this. Very somnia. <laughs> we do have an alternative here. So we've got the more traditional three swords through a human heart with a rain cloud, stormy clouds behind, but we do have these these rocks and, and water. But we also have this, uh, where you've got this, this figure here with her heart actually pierced. So rather than the human heart separate from the body, we've got this. And I just think this is beautiful. So I'm going with that one. Maybe I'm not such a traditionalist after all. Our four, five, look how beautiful this is, six, love this, this uh, eclipsed uh, sun with the moon face here, eight, nine, it's a powerful card. And then we have our page, beheaded, what looks like a giant, <laughs> the knight, queen, and king. And then we have our pentacles, is it coins? Wait, well, does it say pentacles or coins? Um, look at this, isn't this amazing? Stunning. Love this five. So we have two sevens. Um one a little bit more nature based, isn't it? I think oh, I'll go with this one. And then we have the eight, nine, and ten. Look at this, love it. And our page, knight, 
been it says coins here I thought I'd saw coins and the king and then we have the was it vessels is that what they called it um yeah vessels which is to represent the ether um yeah okay so beautiful this is interesting as well isn't it we've got this kind of very sort of alchemy here with these uh, potions carried on the heads one's blue one's red and then he's standing in these two uh, pools one looks like gold the other silver again we're getting that that sort of balance of the two three See, if I was reading for somebody else, having an additional suit, I guess I, I need to study the book. It would it would stump me um, at this stage. Yet I can see myself reading for people with this deck. I love this image. Look at this two-headed beast here. Um, so maybe I'll just take this suit out for that until I'm uh, more comfortable with it, because it, it's beautiful. But for me, the tarot has enough, you know, in the the major and the four suits of the minor. It For me, this, you know, all of life's experience are contained within. But it's always fascinating to see what other people can, can bring. So there you have it. So we have our 78 tarot, although there is an extra death card in here. So this is a 79 card tarot. We have 14 extra cards for a new suit called Vessels to represent the ether. And then all of these extra cards, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14 extra cards as well. So 28 plus one, 29 extra cards just in the standard deck that you get uh, before buying any expansion packs. All right, so do you have the Terra Volatile? Tell me what you think to it, um, how you've been working with it. Have you been reading using the Suit of Vessels? Um, did you make the same choices that I've made in uh, putting together your kind of perfect deck? Um, is the expansion pack worth getting? All these questions I've got. Um, and if you watch this, Rob, thank you for the trade. I will do a side-by-side -side, uh, tomorrow of the two Somnia decks. Um, and yeah, thank you, everyone. Until next time. Go in peace, namaste, and blessed be.